Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BUFU Gaming, and today we are back in East and and uh, it is time to see if we can catch old pups, and I do believe he's the one we spotted out here. So, let's just go and see. I'm just trying to collect these reeds since there's a nice amount of them right here. There we go. Okay, let's just try this. And... Uh, there we go, right over there guys, you can see that orangey thing in the water and there's a little bit of water like spraying up where he's moving around, so I think that must be him, right? And if we, let's see, let's get our fishing pole up. I have been fishing, so I now have 16 thunder trout. Hopefully that's gonna be enough, I don't know if he's gonna bite right away or if he's gonna make it hard for us, we'll just have to see. Thing is, if we can kind of hit it in the right spot. Ooh, nice! Okay, let's see. Ooh, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, look at this fishy. Yep, man. Ah, ew. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's definitely putting in a bit of a fight here. Oh, there we go. Come on. We are gonna get you. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, 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 we got him. I caught old pups. He coughed up a ring. I've got the ring now, but should I keep old pups or toss him back? Oh, nice. We got get the option to do that. I think we should release him back, shouldn't we? We actually got the ring and he's kind of a thing of legend, right? So let's do that. I tossed all pups back to the water and he swam away. Nice. Okay. Yep. Let's do that. I think that's, that's what we're going to do. And I think we're going to go and hand in that quest. Uh, oh no, you know what? Let's head up out to that island first, then we can hand in the quest later. Because I really, really want to see if we can get out here. Should we be able to get out here, right? That makes sense. Uh, where's my raft? My raft, my raft is here. Okay. There we go, mount. Okay, let's see if we can get over here, guys. Aha, nice. Because I have been wanting to get over here ever since we first um, saw this little place out here. Ooh. Nice. Oh, this is so pretty. Yep, yep, yep. Going sailing. Is there anything else out here? Hmm. I don't think so. That we want to check out. Hmm. So, do we have like a... A, uh, I um, what do you call that? Like a little um. Mm, what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I keep thinking harbor, but that is kind of a big, too big of a, wo a word for it, right? Oh, yard, no. <laughs> Sometimes my my um my brain completely fails me. But yeah, this is the place I'm looking for, right over here place to uh, pack our boat, so to speak. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get over here. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I think we hit... Oh, it started raining. Uh, the water is too deep to dismount. Okay, can I get over here then? And let's pack it up so it doesn't... Uh, disappear on us. I found out th about that over on the river at one point that uh, you have to be careful when I wanted to crush the river uh, that it doesn't just sail off without you because if it gets too far out in the water you can't catch it uh, so I kind of had to follow it a little bit along the, uh, the shoreline of the river to catch up with it and hope it got close enough so I could catch it yeah oh it looks like we can pick some of those but we don't really need them do we but we can get in here and then we could steal these. But let's see if I can control my hoarding for a little bit. What is this? Got a shovel or something. Hmm. Oh, 
I'm on. Yeah, let's get inside. This weather is not very pleasant. Oh boy, can I close the door again? Yes. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, we're not really taking you visitors. There's been an incident. But with the storm... Well, I'll give you the room we were planning to give the detective. We're just about full otherwise. Got some unpleasant visitors? We have at least one unpleasant visitor and several upset ones. There's been a theft in one of the rooms. The police are on their way now, though it might take a while. Don't worry, though. The thief wouldn't dare strike again. What was taken? Some sort of important book. Real valuable, I guess, by the way Mr. Historian is reacting. I don't claim to understand what it does. I just know we can't have any thieves making an escape. Hmm. Any leads on who did it? We've got all kind of weirdos here. And it could be just about any one of them. They're all exhausting me. Most of the guests are napping right now, though, so it's nice and quiet for the moment. Look, since we've got this shady business going on here, I'm not going to charge you. You can have a room upstairs, first door on your right. Oh, nice. At any rate, it looks like you don't have much choice but to stay. The storm is raging out there. What's the story of this old inn? My great-great-grandparents built it as a waypoint for expeditions north and for folks building windmills on the Teefmore Bluffs. It's well past its glory days, and I can't imagine this situation is going to do much to boost its reputation. Hmm. Any suspects? Not exactly. Well, there was this university student. Strange thing. She arrived around noon, coming from Narva. A few hours later, the historian arrived, followed by Helena and that businessman, Vadim. The student went off to her room. I figured she wanted an early start in the morning. But then she came out a little after sunset, bags all packed, telling me she had to leave and take care of an emergency. I felt bad for her having to leave in the night like that. Hmm. Interesting. Do we have anything else to talk is. about? Uh, no. Okay. Fair enough. Well, let's check this out. Saving the ruins, but not the spirits within them. The Tifmore ruins gained new protections today following concerns of disturbance to sacred land. The new laws mandate that the historical ruins cannot be used for profit if an ancient relic is found within the site. However, a pre-existing law states that if any ancient relics are found on a historical site, scientists will be given free reign over the land in order to conduct a full study and record the findings for posterity. Unfortunately, this does little to protect the native inhabitants who believe the sacred ruins should not be entered by anyone for any reason. Acti activists have loudly stated there is nothing of interest within the ruins, but only time will tell if this is true and whether science or business will be taking over the bluffs. Mm. Okay, well, let's see. Does it say? Reserved for Riley Amir. Okay, there's a door there. Let's just take a little overview of this place. Okay, reserved for Radmila Belinda. Hmm. An interesting painting. Uh, okay, so we've got a couple of rooms we can check out. Got a few people here. Hmm. Oh, there's a book over there. Let's read that. The Tifmore Ruins, a simple and spiritual discussion by Helena Madwood. There are some initiate who hold to the silly notion of finding great riches and antique wonders within the ruins. In reality, however, it is a known fact among native people that the ruins of our ancestors contain nothing of material value. These tomes are home to the ghosts of our ancestors and traipsing through them in search of fortune or answers to our pasts would deeply dishonor those who walked before us. I have said before and will say again for all eternity, aside from the resting spirits, there is absolutely nothing within the Tifmore ruins that would impress a modern East Shadian. Hmm. They are so determined to let everyone know that there's nothing there that it kind of makes you wonder if there is indeed something there. Right? Hi, I'm Amir. You are going to crack this case, right? My girlfriend and I were supposed to play a show tonight. Oh, this is horrible. 
Hmm, you seem pretty eager to leave. Yeah, I am. I just told you that. <laughs> we were really hoping to play Inava tonight. I don't know if this will help, but there was someone down on the beach late last night. I couldn't sleep, so I was looking out of my window at the lake, searching for inspiration. But yeah, someone was down there. Hmm. Could you see who it was? I couldn't tell. They seemed like they might be... tall, maybe? But certainly mysterious. Hmm. Hmm, Tiffmore Ruins? They're a point of controversy around here. Some people want them open to the public, and some people think they're a sacred space. I understand that the ancient people wouldn't have wanted us to disturb their tomb, but it would have been pretty neat to play a show in there. Hmm. Uh, which room is your again? Just past the innkeeper's counter. You can go in. The door's unlocked. We figured since we don't have any interesting books, we're probably safe from the thief. <laughs> Seen anything strange? That businessman, Vadim. He's pretty strange. Obsessed with money. He's given me several nasty looks. And the woman over in the corner. Belinda? She keeps giggling at everyone. <laughs> okay. Mm, well, we already had this one. Who, who did you see on the beach, I right? I couldn't tell. Oh, this they is just what he's going to answer to that. Okay. Aha. Interesting. Well, let's try and talk to... Who are you? Oh, that's the historian. You don't look like the authorities. Another suspect. When did you get here? <laughs> I paddled in a few minutes ago. Oh, sure. Well, watch yourself. There's a thief on the loose, and no one's even trying to catch them. <laughs> what did they take? In my translation book... It contains runes that would allow me to enter and learn more about the Tiefmoor ruins. It's highly sensitive and confidential information. I was on my way to the ruins when the thief made their move. Very few people know about the translation book. Someone must have been following me. Hmm. That's very suspicious. And the authorities. Delayed by a boating mishap. At this rate, the thief is going to slip away in the night. Hmm. The question is if it's someone who... Ooh, what was the name of this person? Helena Madwood. Yeah, someone would think it's someone who's opposed to the science part of it, right? That would... would what you would easily guess at, at least. Ooh. Let's get these. Aha. Nice. Hello, detective. My name's Belinda, and I'm an open book, I tell you. Any questions you have, I'm completely ready to answer. I don't have a single thing to hide. Hmm. The only suspicious thing I've seen is that historian. He's been running into our rooms, snatching up our things and dragging them around for others to inspect. It makes you wonder if he isn't trying to cover something up. <laughs> Why are you visiting? My sister and I are taking a relaxing vacation. She hardly gets out of the house anymore, and I thought the fresh air out here would do her some good. Hmm. What is her illness? Knees, thighs, toes, a continual upset stomach. <laughs> Old age, you might say. Hmm. Have you noticed anything odd? I have. It seems that Miss Helena is unwell. I've seen her looking very sick and tired as she moves about the inn. You'll see. Something's wrong with her. Hmm. Seems like there's a lot of s uh, things going around and a lot of theories from people here. Man, this is going to be interesting figuring out. Okay, this is locked. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can you? T can we ask Unless you anything new? Uh, what's the story? Any suspects? No. Oh, did you ask him about the Unless tiff mode? 
Did we have to ask him about that? Tell me about the tip of my Just not everyone in this area has an opinion on them. Well, indigenous people think no one should even look at them. Most everyone... Well, I had a pal who snuck inside when oh. we were kids. She wouldn't tell me what she saw in there, though. Kind of doubt she actually did it. Hmm. No, I don't think we asked him that before. Okay. Well, let's see. We have Amir's room in here. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's pick you up. Doesn't... Oh, what is this? Various musician in all of Eastshade. Yuri the Bard. Uh, can't really... Enjoy an evening of song, drink, and merrymaking or something it says. Hmm. And Tamarian's hub. And I have no idea what it says underneath that one. Anything here? No. Okay, well, let's see what he has Are to say. Are you the authorities? Do you paint the crime scene to help find clues? Oh, I thought it was a guy. A mere. <laughs> but it was Riley Amir, of course. Just an artist who believes in justice. I'm looking into the case. No, just an artist who believes in justice. Okay, well, my boyfriend and I really need to get off this lake. We're supposed to be playing a show in Narva tonight, but the innkeeper won't let anyone leave. Ah, so you're the girlfriend. Ha ha. Uh, this is a serious matter. It's so frustrating. We've never played anywhere important, and the one chance we get, this has to happen. Hmm. What do you know about the theft? A book was stolen. It must contain the meaning of life, because I can't see any other reason it would be such a big deal. Hmm. Did you see anything suspicious? We got here yesterday afternoon. We ate dinner, played some music, and went to bed. I heard some scuffling in the middle of the night, but I just thought it was rats. Ugh, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. If more ruins... It's such a bad situation. The indigenous people just want the land to stay sacred. All they ask is that no one goes in the ruins. But the university is constantly sending people over to investigate. They want to extract the artifacts. And there's this new law that says if the scientists can't find any ancient relics in the ruins, then the ruins aren't historically important, and so don't get any protections. That means the sacred space could be dishonored by random hikers. I mean, of course the scientists won't find any relics. They aren't even allowed inside. So, the land is really in peril right now. It's just a mess. Hmm. Just hurry up and find the criminal, okay? <laughs> I'll do my best. Hmm. Okay, well, let's check out Belinda's room. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Okay, got some boots. Nothing else here. Okay. Okay, what is this? At the Tiffmore Ruins. Oh, what a nice picture. That is so romantic. Ah. Eternal Battle of Love. They pulled each other close as moonlight washed over them. Surely nothing shall ever part us now, for we have braved through beasts and frozen nights, starvation and drought. Yet finally life has brought me back to your arms. Our love shall last forever, but the battles have not ended. Our lives have been foretold in the stars, and this is only the beginning. You can leave now and seek a simpler life, one with riches and comfort, warmth and a soft bed. No one would blame you. He knew that no warmth would be as real as that of her hands, no bed comfortable after sharing the ground with her. All his riches and comfort would be found in her eyes, her stories, her smile. I will go with you. Okay, 5941. Okay, I suspect we're gonna need that for something. See if I can remember, otherwise I'll have to go back and read it, <laughs> read the numbers again. Okay, so 5941. Okay, let's see you. Ancient power of the Tifmore Ruins. Healing magic. Some believe the Tifmore Ruins hold the power to heal all wounds and illness. 
Why we do not enter the ruins to seek out this power is beyond comprehension. It is trusted by many that simply standing in the presence of the ruins is enough to cure small sicknesses and ease the mind of worry. It is a sad thing that the progeny of the peoples who built these magical places do not see fit to share the wonderful spiritual energy here. They instead look it, lock it away. Could it be they want the power only for themselves? Alas, we must respect their wishes and only wonder at the amazing energy still sealed within the walls of the ruined tombs. Hmm. Oh, hello, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> so busy looking at everything else. Ah, so you finally made it, detective. I was hoping you'd be delayed so we could have more excitement. <laughs> You're enjoying this? Well, of course. My sister Belinda dragged me here all of a sudden for a quiet retreat. <laughs> but I don't much like quietly retreating. I'd rather have the suspense of a conniving thief in our midst. Ah, now I get the names. It's two names. I was reading them as, you know, one name. So, Red Miller Belinda, like, that was one name, but it's <laughs> actually the two names, and the same with the. Uh, Riley and Amir. Haha. -ha. Yep, that just got crossed in my head somehow. Okay, number code in book. You skipped to the last page? Don't spoil the ending for me. <laughs> the businessman Vadim gave me that book last night. I haven't finished it yet, and I don't know anything about those numbers. They better not be important to the story. <laughs> See anything strange? No, I'm trapped in this bed. There's nothing at all to see here. But I did hear a young girl pacing outside my door before the theft. She seemed very flustered. I called her inside and we talked a bit about books. She was a student at the university. Suddenly she said she needed to go. <laughs> what a sad girl. Hmm, thanks. Ruins painting. Yes. My husband and I used to go on dates at the ruins. The night sky and the fresh air, all surrounded by the history of the island. It's a very romantic spot, you know. Hmm. That's all for now. Eh, uh, okay. Man, that's a lot of information to keep track of. Just trouble checking. 5941. Yes, that was what I remembered. Okay, cool. So, let's see what is upstairs, maybe. Maybe we can ask the other people about something like this. Uh, let's did you figure see it if there's anything new. Who did you see? Which room is yours again? Seen anything strange? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's try and go upstairs. Well, some of the others might have something to say, but let's check around a bit. Hmm... No, it doesn't seem like there's anything there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, so Helena's room is locked. Interesting. We serve for the detective, so that was our room now, right? Yep, I do believe so. Oh, there's another candle. Nice. And we can sleep, which I don't really want to do at the moment. No, nothing we can read in here it doesn't look like. And Vadim's room is locked too. Oh. And Historian's room is locked. Um. Okay, but if everybody's rooms are locked. Um, okay. Let's try. Talk to you oh, again. Nice this is. Oh, no, it doesn't seem like we can. Oh, can any of the doors open? 